All right. Today we're going to talk about the Eye Camper Mini, not the Golden Retriever, even though he is much cuter. Uh, all right. So what I've done, I've, I've done some videos on the Eye Camper Mini on my setup on the Raptor, and uh, I'm going to release soon a video on the Annex as well, which is a great addition to the Eye Camper. Uh, what I wanted to do this time was a little bit on some mods. I've been trying to think of some ways to improve on the uh, storage on the Mini. You know, the Mini is 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 smaller than the standard Eye Camp uh, Sky Camp 2.0, uh, so you do give up some space. So to make that space more usable, I've been trying to think of ways to include um, more storage. So incorporating other um, other setups, I have uh, I have a uh, a hammock setup, a ground tent setup, and even though I like keeping my things separate so that I don't forget things when I am out with that setup, there it is kind of neat to have some dual purpose or multi-purpose items that can be used in other setups as well, and that's what I'm doing. I'm using some things I had, and I bought some new things too. I'm going to show both, and uh, these are very inexpensive items for the most part. So let's get started under here. Uh, you can see with the hooks. Now, iCamper does sell some accessories that go under here. There's a, a shoe bag and accessory bag. This was very cheap. Got it on Amazon. It does unzip into three sections if you want to use just uh, just one section. But you know, it's it's decent quality. Uh, hook it on these these hooks. You know, these loops that are provided. Um, this actually is designed to go on the back of a seat in an SUV. So. That's why it's set up like this. So anyway, I just took the uh, the uh, clip, uh, undid the strap, you know, took the strap out, put a little uh, Velcro strap in its place so I can just unclip it very quickly and leave this connected. So uh, kind of a quick little setup. You've got some little compartments here. You've got maybe like a shoe bag here uh, and then a net over here. So sets up pretty good. I didn't have a support here in the middle uh, you could actually super glue or something, some kind of a hook here and mount it better. I may do that in the future, but this kind of uh, takes care of it for now. But anyway, nice little uh, thing. I put a towel back here, clipped it on just to keep from scratching the truck. Uh, you know, if it gets windy and on, you're just using it, it's going to be hitting up against it. So I'll come up with a little better method of, of protecting the truck. But right now it's just a, a towel clipped on there. All right, so that's one. Let's go up inside. There's some other mods in here that uh, I want to cover. The mod in the back is just a like a cargo bungee that I got off Amazon. Works out well. Um, it's uh, something I would use for uh, storing, um, you know, your your sleeping bag, your pillows. If you just want to get them out of the way. I mean, you know, this isn't super tight or anything, but it would at least get them out of the way. Maybe some clothing, a jacket or something you just want to get out of the way. So I just have it clipped here on these uh, struts, just kind of pushed on there. And then at the bottom, there are loops in those bottom corners. And I am all, I'm also very reluctant to put too much force, too much tension on those loops. I don't know how secure they would be long term. But, um, and then there's one in the middle, one in the other corner, and then again up here on this strut. So that's where I've got it positioned. Anyway, there's a good little mod. It was cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks. I'll put a link below on uh, the Amazon link for it, but it's you know very inexpensive. Okay, the next mod is the Front Runner LED Light Strip. I have mentioned this product before in a couple other videos. One I did just on lights for camping. The other was uh, I mentioned it on the outside of the tent. I, I like to mount this uh, because it's such a weather resistant uh, setup here. So uh, it does well outside, but I decided to buy another one. I did have an MSR LED light strip, which was a lot lighter weight, but wasn't as bright. And this actually has a, uh, a dimming feature where uh, right here where you can actually uh, turn it on and off and then dim it so that's pretty cool uh, the light strip wasn't quite long enough to make it to each of the connection points uh, the top of the tent has three loops to connect to it wasn't quite long enough so I used these s 
hooks to give me a little bit of extension there. So it worked out great. Uh, and then it has a very long cord. So uh, I kind of wrapped it around here and then just take it down to the other end and hook it to a power bank of some type of battery. So anyway, that's the uh, front runner LED light strip. Here's another little cargo net I bought off Amazon. It came in a pack of some bungees. Uh, I just connected it to these little tie outs for the, uh, the top. This is for the uh, screen layer, little tie out, and then connected it to the uh, pole here, wow. the, uh, the support aluminum pole. So, you know, it's not something you'd want to put a lot of weight in, but just something to get something out of the way. You may have a, a shirt, you're going to sleep, you take some clothing off, you just throw it up here, or you might want to put a light up here. Uh, there are some hooks on this as well, you know, something that's kind of light, you could hook up there, a little light or something. Um, so, you know, just again, some extra storage in this space. Now, the next two items are items I took from my uh, hammock camping setup. Uh, these are two items made by a company called Dream Dream Hammock. I'm going to do a review on their hammock as well. Love their products. They're a small company, uh, husband and wife uh, owned and, and ran, and they do such a great job. Uh, their customer service is impeccable, and uh, their products are very well made. And they'll customize things for you. They'll they'll uh, make it just about any way you want to on on hammocks and and uh, accessories for hammocks. And uh, so anyway, these are, this is called a gear sling by Dream Hammock. So uh, typically this would ride on the outside of your hammock, give you a little extra storage up beside your hammock, like a little sidecar type of thing. So I just have it uh, mounted with little bungees on this uh, pole. And then it just unzips. Well, two ways you actually can get into it. It, it unzips, so uh, it's like a little mini hammock here actually. Um, Actually, I just zipped it up. Let's see, unzip it. So you can get into it that way, okay? Or on the ends, uh, this thing actually comes down and then you can actually get into it from the end. So many ways to uh, use this, very good piece of gear. I think it's like 25 bucks or something from Dream Havoc, uh, something like that. And you can get different materials, different colors. I mean, a lot of different colors, a lot of different weight materials. Uh, in hiking, obviously, lighter is better uh, for this setup. It really doesn't matter. But again, I love having dual purpose gear. Uh, it just limits the amount of gear I have to buy. Now, this is called the Ridgeline Sling. It's just totally open, very quick and easy accessibility. Um, this would typically go in the hammock on your Ridgeline and just gives you quick accessibility. So I just have it connected uh, with a little bungee on that same aluminum pole and the other end on this uh, strut, this gas shock um, with another little bungee, you know, and it kind of gets it out of the way of the window. You still have your window and just some quick, you know, uh, maybe my phone, maybe, you know, other little things, not too heavy, the things I'd want to put in there uh, while asleep. And, again, and of course, I've, as I mentioned in my iCamper review, there is a little pouch underneath there too to put some things as well so you do have that one of the few things that come with the, the tent itself so anyway there those are some mods um, I'm always thinking of some more if you have any ideas uh, let me know this was a short video just wanted to get this to you as some ideas and uh, again I'll leave links below on the items that I've uh, discussed today uh, the other thing I would recommend too is um, always keeping a lot of bungees and carabiners and S hooks. Just just keep a, a bunch of those in a little bag or something. You, you, when you're out, uh, those things will really get you out of a bind on trying to uh, work up uh, certain setups. So um, anyway, that's it. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate it. And uh, until next time, have fun out there.